on the biggest of stages. Okay, now that we <laughs> Well, another highlight for the real DC is a collision between Bruce Lee and Yoel Romero. So the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight at Golden to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in the UFC career. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Connection with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Romero's circling to his right now. All right, let's go. Look to set up that low. Just a slip there. Hook to the head there by Romero. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Punch over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Kick blocked by Romero. Three minutes remain in the round. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel Romero. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. He's going after the head. Let him go. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Romero gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Head kick. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent can react. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, he hurt it bad with a jab. Nice straight punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Under a minute now to go on the round. Big kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Romero gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Good punch lands. Yeah. 
So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Romero. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Try to establish that jab. Romero's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? The Olympic silver medalist Romero gets absolutely punished by that head kick. That head Switching stances here. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Beautiful body kick. Oh, Superman punch. Nice job by Romero there on the feet, not only sticking, but moving to avoid the counterattack coming back. It's the head movement. It's the athleticism of Yoel Romero that allows him to be standing there flat-footed and just get out of the way whenever you try to hit him. He's always been a phenomenal athlete, and he continues to be that even as he's aged. Lands flush with that right hand. Big kick land. Spinning back this. Real sneak by the kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And he landed the right hand there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. The next with the right. Oh, no wasted motion there. Romero loads up on the right hand and finds the target. I mean, you watch him. He's knocked out some of the greatest middleweights of all time. Luke Rockley, Chris Weidman. He's put guys to sleep in a variety of ways. And tonight he does it again. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking club. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try to... Shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. And right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Beautiful kick. Just missed with the straight left hand. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Right on the button. Romero's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Lands a, lands a right hand upstairs.
Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, big punch land. And a miss with the right hook. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big power shot there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. The Olympic silver medalist Romero gets stung by that leg kick. Lands with a right hand. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, a huge round, particularly when it came to that liver strike that really buckled his opponent. It buckled his opponent bad. I'm surprised that the guy's still standing. I don't know exactly what his corner can do to try to bring him back. When you take those types of strikes, you generally don't recover fast. Let's see what they do to try to bring him back. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round might be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. That punch, no good. Slips the punch nicely there. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Just missed with the left there. Kick now by Lee. Nice job. Oh, massive, massive, massive hook lands. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> hook attempt now blocked, though, by Lee. They continue to exchange. Real nice body kick land. Just out of range with that left hook. Straight punch land. The soldier of God gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Just misses with the right hook. Well placed kick there by Lee. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words prove it's prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allowed him to get that technique off. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Romero. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. It's such a fast leg kick. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Big body kick. Effective strike there by Lee. Romero's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to fight down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Right hand upstairs. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee's kick blocked. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. That's a big strike. 
strike right there. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. Oh, man. That, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Went back to the well with that hook to the body. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Great punch landing with so much power. 15 seconds to go. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, he might be out. What a run. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it, to even try it. You've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly as we saw in the lead up to that attack. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you, you can do a Superman punch like that. Though. With my luck, I would try to push off if my foot would be slippery and wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big kick. Beautiful leg kick, bro. Just misses there with the left. Ooh, what a punch. is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, straight right. What a punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. That right thigh really starting to show some bruising. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Liz. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Strong defense there to block the shot. with his strikes tonight. Just misses with the straight left hand. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, oh he's almost in there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. See, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Night. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Romero. Big kick. 
kick lands. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, nice right hand. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Nice punch land. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, GC. You got to like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Pretty good straight punch there by Romero. Nice leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Seconds remain in the round. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, he blocks the shot. Oh! What a round! All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's so go. here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Great punch. Uppercut to the head. Instead, it's blocked by Romero. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to get too much. And on that punch right there. He's out. He's done. He's done. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but a heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and Nick Diaz. You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side, and on the other side, maybe the most well-rounded fighter. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, head kick. Wow, what a kick. Liver kick. Oh! Diaz gets kicked and once again, target area of the body. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Another shot lands upstairs. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Diaz. Just missed with the left there. What a tricky head kick. Massive head kick. Oh! 
Huge left hand. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Got to start blocking these, DC. One more and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Oh, Trevor oh. lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, straight right. No, he is on B Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Swing and a miss with that punch by Diaz. Big head kick lands. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Diaz. Big kick. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the... Oh, no, oh, the man shot the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Maybe start to lead with punches before he throws kicks. A lot of his kicks... Oh, he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Spinning back fist. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Diaz. Still nice body kick land. Nice combination of strikes to the body. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Can't take many of those. Better check. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Beautiful body kick. He hurt him. 20 seconds to go in round one. Where's the right hand? Well, he's up. He shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. The kill shot. They call it to go and end the fight. Oh. Oh. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish.
All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight at Golden to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in the UFC careers this year. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Gusterson gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Moving to his left now. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Big call punch lands. Now we get back to range. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. My goodness! Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Superman punch lands! Midway through round one. Gustafson gets touched by that kick there. As a there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether it's one, high, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. That was in Seconds now to go in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big power shot there. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. That was a thudding leg kick. 
Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! What a body kick. Both guys landing big shots. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, that a strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he wins. Great job. Oh, straight right. Huge win for that young fighter here tonight. 